Hi, my name is Marcus and I want to give you a little two minutes lesson presented to you by the fabulous Alexis Drinks. So creative people all over the world share the same issue from time to time and that is that they feel uncreative and feel like doing the same thing all over again. So for bass players that means sometimes you have the feeling that you write the same bass line all over again and it sounds boring and sounds the same all the time and you can nothing you can do nothing about it so i want to show you a little helper for that of course you have a million ways to get rid of that feeling but i show you one or i give you one idea how to do that so when i see my students playing or creating bass lines i often see them using uh, notes from within one octave. So when you take a specific um, scale, for example, the A minor scale, um, you can use all, all, all these notes, but of course uh, the octave is not, um, it's not a limit. So A is my root note, I play the ma minor scale. So here is my octave. That octave can be the root note again, of course. And so on and so on, depending on how much space there is on your fretboard. Um, yeah, you can use this tonal material, of course. Um, you're not limited to the octave. And I want to show that to you in some examples. While playing this little bass line, I stay in A minor um, and my first note will be the root note. So it's the A on the E string and um, I aim for this note. So this is the B and it is, um, so it's the second note after the root note. So, but because it is uh, the second note after the octave seen from my root note, uh, it's called the ninth note. Right? And we can use that for a bass line. Let's try it out. Yeah, pretty easy, pretty nice. Same idea, we can. Uh, take the third note, which defines if it's minor or major. Maybe you know that, maybe you don't, but it is like that. So from the A, it's the C here. That is the third note, it's the minor third. It's also here, of course. So I can play the octave from that third over here, together with my root note. Sounds pretty interesting. Same principle um, as seen from the B. Go to the C. So you can see um, these bass lines sounds more interesting or they give you an, a, a new perspective uh, in creation. Um, and that always helps me to stay creative. And of course, um, all these notes are, are pretty high for a bass. Um, and this is perfect when you put on your Alexia strings because then you can hear the unbelievable good and clear sound of these strings. And of course, you can create millions of bass lines with only one set of strings because they last forever, I promise to you. So now grab your bass and create some nice music.